the Democrats have been caught with the truth. That's right. They don't want the economy to get better. They want the economy to crash and stay crashed until the election. Hey, everyone, I'm Chad Hasty, host of the Chad Hasty Show. Cheers weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Now, we all know that the best chance Joe Biden has of defeating President Donald Trump at the polls is if... The Americans uh, look around at the economy and go, things are bad, they're not going to get any better, and they lose all hope. If the economy is doing well uh, and bouncing back, or before coronavirus, if the economy was just chugging along at uh, what it was doing, then the Democrats have little to no chance of winning the election. And uh, a story from Politico goes to basically confirm everything that we know and uh, it's in black and white right here on Politico's website, the general election scenario that Democrats are dreading. Uh, this from a top former economic advisor to pre uh, former President Obama. Uh, in early April, Jason Furman, a top economist in the Obama administration, now a professor at Harvard, was speaking via Zoom to a large bipartisan group of top officials from both parties. The economy had just been shut down, unemployment spiking, some policymakers predicting an era worse than the Great Depression. The economic carnage seemed likely to doom President Trump's re-election chances. Furman tapped to give the opening presentation, looked into the screen of his poorly lit boxes of frightened wonks and made a startling claim. Quote, we're about to see the best economic data we've seen in the history of this country. Oh, no. Wait, the best economic data? The best economic data that we've ever seen in the history of the United States? And that is what the Democrats are dreading? Yes, and here's why the former cabinet secretaries and Federal Reserve chairs in the Zoom boxes were confused. So some of the Republicans may have been newly relieved and some Democrats suddenly concerned, quote, everyone really looked puzzled and thought I had misspoken, Furman said in, an, in the interview. Uh, or in an interview, uh, instead of forecasting a prolonged depression-level economic catastrophe, Furman laid out a detailed case as to why the months preceding the November election could offer Trump a chance to win big and a chance to brag truthfully about the most explosive monthly employment numbers and gross domestic product growth ever. Since the call, Furman has been making the same case to anyone who will listen, especially those to the close-knit network of Democrat wonks who have traversed the Clinton-Obama campaigns together, including top members of the Biden campaign. Furman's, uh, Furman's pitch, uh, counterintuitive pitch, has caused some Democrats, especially Obama alumni around Washington, to panic. Quote, this is my big worry, said a former Obama White House official who still is close to the former president, asked about the level of concern among top party officials. He said, quote, it's high, 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 high. Top policy officials on the Biden campaign preparing for a fall economic debate that could look very different than the one predicted at the start of the pandemic in March. Quote, they're very much aware of this, they said in the interview. Uh, Furman's case begins with the premise that the 2020 pandemic triggered the economic collapse is categorically different than the Great Depression. Instead, he believes the way to think about the current economic drop-off is in at least two phases is more like what's happening to a thriving economy during a natural disaster. A quick and steep decline in the economic activity, followed by a quick and steep rebound. So all of this sounds good, right? I mean, if you're if you're going to the average American and saying, listen, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're going to see a, see a steep decline. Things are going to get bad. Uh, the economy is going to look bad. But thankfully, the foundations of the economy are strong, and that means we're going to pop right back, and everything's going to be good. We're going to have uh, employment numbers that come uh, surging back. We're going to have economic numbers that come surging back. Most Americans would say that is a great thing. 
but not the Democrats. They want America to uh, be, be in ruin. They want the economy to be in ruin. They don't give a damn about the American people. They don't care uh, about your retirement. They don't care uh, if you're poor or rich or any of that. They don't care. They just want to win. And that's a message that I think is going to continue to propel President Donald Trump in 2020 and into re-election. The, uh, the Democrats, they spilled it all out. They've told you uh, exactly what they believe, that the economy needs to stay bad, uh, that states need to continue to be shut down, that economic prosperity cannot continue in 2020 if Joe Biden is going to win. Now, you tell me which party sounds like they care about the American people. The Republicans and President Trump, who wants people to get back to work, uh, wants to uh, have economic prosperity in America, or the Democrats, who want it all to collapse and stay there until Joe Biden wins. Tune in to the Chad Eastie Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. Have a great day.